Hi, I'm Brooke Holland with Women's Soccer. Brooke, well, here we go. Started training camp. How have things gone so far? They've been good. You know, our bodies are a little bit sore. We had weights yesterday morning and then got right into practice yesterday afternoon. But people are working really hard and um, just doing an awesome job. So we're really proud. What do you do in the off season to stay fit uh, before soccer practice starts? Um, typically, I just work with the fitness packet that RB provides us. It definitely gets you into shape, and as long as you stay on track and work really hard, you should come and fit and be ready to go for season. Is there one part of soccer training that you just can't replicate by yourself in the summer? Um, cones. We have this one drill that's cones, and you have to basically do a lot of cutting. And with my groin injuries from the past, it's just hard to run, get out there and run on my own and do as best as I can without my teammates pushing me. So. Great. Well, a good uh, six starters back, a good uh, core to work with, and I uh, got some newcomers as well. How do you integrate the newcomers into the team? You know, we just do our best to make them feel like they're a family and that, you know, kind of they haven't missed out on any beats this past year and spring and winter that we've been working without them asking them a lot of questions and just maximum uh, family bonding time to get them you know integrated to our team so that we can all play together as best as possible are there any unique things you do off the field to help that bonding uh, we we've gotten together with the men's team and volleyball team uh, playing signs and that's just a little game that we all like to play um, other than that just other team bonding stuff, team Olympics, and team dinners, and it's all been great fun. Watching Bachelors in Paradise is a, is a go-to for all of us. Very nice. Controversial season of that this oh, year. Oh, yes, it definitely is. Uh, so, it'll let Team Alive a different look. One of the big uh, people who departed from the D is Hannah Husers, who's led the team and the conference scoring last three years. Uh, how will the team fill that void? You know, we're all going to just work really hard offensively. We have a really strong defense, and so I have confidence that our offense is just going to step right up and do well. Casey Reeve, uh, she was actually out spring season with a toe injury and got to play the last few games, and she'll be a powerhouse up in the front. She's, you know, just as tall as Hannah, big, strong, powerful forward. So, you know, I think that a lot of our offense can go through her, and then we have such amazing forwards that anyone who steps into that role, they're going to make a difference and make an impact on the field. So. You mentioned the defense will also help uh, with that. Uh, how nice is it to have a veteran goalkeeper like Molly Stinson back there? Oh, it's so great. I know she's pushing for some records with, you know, saves at the school. And just to have her voice back there is awesome. And it's one thing that's really unique is how she's coached the other goalies. And so I just see the confidence that Abby and Kaylee have to communicate with us and, you know, build defense through them also, not only Molly. So it's, it's really comforting knowing that we have a great support system no matter what goalie is. We've only had a couple of practices. This may be a difficult question, but is there anyone, a newcomer or a returning player, who you think may surprise Falcon Sands with their impact this year? You know, I think a lot of people might surprise everybody. We have a really great incoming freshman class that are no doubt going to step onto the field and make a difference. We have um, some sophomores who are awesome, and I, I think you'll be surprised just because everybody came in and they're in such good shape and they're working really hard. We're working really hard to get you know, a good cohesive unit down together and just play together and be fluid on the field. So we're looking forward to the season. You've been in the program uh, quite a while now. What do you recall about your uh, first practices as a Falcon way back? Oh man, I remember walking onto the field and just being absolutely terrified. And uh, Chuck Secker was our head coach back then. And it, it, I was just so nervous. And then Ar RB brings a different feel to it. Everybody's welcome, you know. Uh, we have so much fun together and it's it'll be a good year what was your most difficult uh, thing adjustment uh, to college soccer probably just the people um, that's why we're trying to work so hard to get the freshmen integrated well and make sure that they don't feel uncomfortable or any means just it's a big wake-up call when you go from high school soccer living at home to moving however far each freshman is to being on their own so do you recall any advice an upperclassman gave you when you came in or someone that really helped you out? Um, just rejoicing in the moment. Everybody always says you never know how fast it goes until you're up there your senior year, and that's so true. I feel like I blinked, and here I am a senior. Yeah. Well, uh, let's talk a little bit about yourself. Uh, what did you do this summer? I nannied for this uh, one-year-old boy. His name is Desmond, and he's a cutie. Kept me busy, really busy. What's the uh, most difficult aspect of uh, caring for a one-year-old? Um, you know, after workouts, when I'd be really sore the next day and still having to be able to run around and chase him and <laughs> try to uh, just get through the pain of 
post-workouts. Great, fantastic. Well, Brooke, thanks so much for your time and good luck this season. Thank you, thank you.